Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The level up grind continues for those that are still working through games to level up all of these level up cards. But with that being the main point of demand, prices are moving on the market and these cards are actually really, really good to trade with. I wanna talk about that today and what else is moving on the market after yesterday's content and what we could expect today to on Sunday in FIFA 23. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course, subscribe if you're new. I appreciate all the feedback, all of you guys sounding off in the comments in yesterday's video talking about what your feelings are on this level up promo. And I think the number one overarching feeling is is, is that it is a really W concept, but just for this time in the game, it's just not quite it. But still, a lot of you guys are enjoying the grind for especially these lower tier or easier ones to grind through. Some nice cards in there. And some of you guys have been lucky enough to pack a Davies or maybe Renato Sanchez, and you're going and grinding through those games. Because if you pack one of them on tradable, then you feel like it's a bit more worth it to get those games in. Especially when guys like KDB are still 15 mil on the market and extinct. So, just want to get that out of the way. But yesterday, we saw another expected level up player released. Sildilia. I'm not sure if I'm getting the name right there, but a French right back in the Bundesliga. He is a pretty nice card. High, high work rates um, on the 91 and I believe the 93 as well. I think if you click into the 93 um, on the uh, in the objectives, it shows that it's medium, medium, but I actually think that this card is uh high high on his actual item i'm checking footbin right now to double check that and it is some sometimes man those cards in the objectives will look glitched and they're incorrect so that is his actual rating on the 93 as well it is high high it is not uh medium medium but 27,000 coins to this sbc you can tell it's massively upvoted upvoted for a reason w card very linkable now speaking of the grind with these cards if you did that sbc yesterday or if you're just grinding the objectives in general EA actually turned off one of the ways that a lot of us were hoping to get this objective done via co-op. It no longer works to be in a co-op squad battles game with another player and to get progress counted on both accounts. It only works now on co-op mode in division rivals. And the rumor is that EA turned off co-op working in squad battles because people were trying to sell the their accounts with co-op. If they had Renato or De Bruyne or maybe Timo Werner or Enzo for Hernandez, maybe Alfonso Davies, some of those really expensive guys, but specifically KDB and Renato, the rumor is that people are trying to say, hey, I'll, you can pay me 50 bucks and I'll do the games with you for, to get your Renato type of thing. And of course, EA doesn't like that, so they turn that off. That's the rumor. Um, doesn't really explain why we haven't got compensation that's been out for weeks when they can fix something like that super fast and not have our compensation out for literally a month, which is a bit confusing. But I just wanted to kind of point that out to you guys because we mentioned in yesterday's video, it was only working for a few hours and then EA turned it off. Co-op still does work now in Division Rivals though, uh, as far as I am uh, in the loop. So along with that SBC Sildilia yesterday, we had a 90 plus icon player pick. And this is like all the objective content right now is where the hype is kind of, if you are really enjoying this promo, the SBC content man is just, like, this is old. I think, why Why are we excited for a 90-plus icon player pick? We can do it twice. Is that what we're excited about? Are we excited about the price? 230K? There's just not a lot to get excited about here because we've had this same icon pick for weeks now in this game. Guys, the fact that we still have this player pick and nothing better is a little bit sad when at this time last year, on this very day, we had a 92-plus icon moments player pick repeatable three times. It was the third time that we had this SPC repeatable. Um, I know that it didn't include promo icons last year, but... Icon moments only player pick, a one of three. And right now we have a 90 plus one of three that includes primes. A lot of them include primes, right? Some include foot birthdays and trophy titans. But still, um, this player pick is just, it's behind the curve, right? We it, This should have been something better with a 92 plus player pick or take some of the primes out uh, by doing that 92 plus above. I don't think they could take primes out completely. But um, that's just kind of an L, right? But it was something to do. And let's be honest, fodder was so low. Friday night into Saturday that it was very easy for fodder to actually go up in price because of this 90 plus pick being released 86s and above are all up in price 88s for about like what 10 11 000 coins now they're 14k if you take a look at holland's graph yeah these guys were 10k right they rose a bit and then they spiked to about 15 000 coins i think the cards that maybe moved the most were some of the 91s um th those guys are about 26k a couple of them have undercuts right now especially if you look at the cheapest team of the season cards i believe all tots cards yesterday went from about 20 22,000 coins or 21k 
to about 26, 27,000 coins. So a really good fluctuation there on fodder. If you did get in, we mentioned in yesterday's video, it just seems like the new weekly fluctuation now is to buy fodder on Friday night, late night, or maybe Saturday in the morning, depending on your time zone. Because after that, it's like on Saturdays, EA is dropping these icon SBCs now. So, you know, it was usually on Saturdays we would buy for a Sunday SBC, but nowadays it's like the Saturdays of the day when they're dropping those. So we kind of have to pre prepare a day ahead of time. Um, and that's kind of the way that fodder has been moving. So that's just something to note, something to watch out for. That icon pick is repeatable twice. I'm not expecting prices on high-rated fodder to continue to move unless we have some other big sort of SBC coming later this week. Uh, but if you have that high-rated fodder still, I guess you could wait and you could hold and see if it goes higher later on this week with more SBCs hopefully coming. Now, we actually had a really massive store pack release yesterday, and it really has to do with the pack weight as well. The 500,000 coin super elite pack, but here's the kicker. You can do it twice. You can open it two times, so you can spend a million coins or 6,000 FIFA points and have a 92% chance of a level up player in each of those super elite packs, which is very tempting, and EA is doing a great job here uh, of selling some FIFA points because if you think about it, how many people are trying to pack Renato or to get KDB to go and do that objective and they can't because those guys are crazy expensive on the market. Well, some people take the risk and they take the gamble with these packs. So those are massive packs. I'm very tempted to open one. Um, maybe if we make a few coins this week, I'll feel a bit better about opening one because I opened a 400k pack. What was it last week and got absolutely hosed. So um, we'll see. But that's a very tempting pack because that pack weight percentage is very, very high. Now, let's talk about these level up cards a bit more. And that's going to be the main point of today's video is these level up cards because, man, they move like crazy. I don't know if any of you guys saw these price movements from Friday night into Saturday yesterday, but these guys go up a bunch, man. And it's because there's a ton of demand and people are doing a lot of these objectives. Even though we think this promo is kind of an L, it is still the thing to do right now and still... You know, a lot of these cards only require five, six, seven games, right? So it's not that bad to do. If you take a look at some of these price graphs, Cavani, who's 99,000 coins right now, yesterday went from 170K up to about 209. He didn't even have that big of a fluctuation. We'll talk about the big price drop-offs here in a second. But where's Timo Werner? That's a card I want to look at. Timo Werner is 700,000 coins right now. Yesterday, he was 890, went all the way to 1.2 mil, and then started coming all the way back down. But this is the type of fluctuation we're seeing with these cards. We saw it on Friday. We saw it on Saturday, and I imagine today we're going to see it on Sunday as well for a lot of these because, again, the idea that you can just go get the player off the market, you can play some games and upgrade it, I think a lot of people like that, especially for the lower tier. You know, a lot of casuals may want to do this, and uh, you can tell the prices are dropping because people are selling these cards as well uh, because they've completed the objective. And that's the interesting part about this is a lot of the rises have been happening in the morning, right? People get on FIFA for the day, they go on, they buy the cards up, they play games, they, they work on the objective, and then boom, the prices just drop off like crazy. So... Today might be a day where that same thing happens. I've actually bought some Enzo Fernandez because Enzo was really, really low earlier. He was about 450, 460,000 coins. Right now, he's about 520,000 coins, uh, 515, 520. And uh, I bought a bunch there at like 450. I also bought a couple at 600 because he was dropping like crazy yesterday. And uh, he finally started to bounce back up. But these cards are amazing to trade with because there is constant demand there for people trying to get the objectives done. Now, with this, it is going to be a bit risky trading with these cards because like we saw yesterday, and we'll talk about Enzo Fernandez as a perfect example of this. Cards are dropping, some of these guys have dropped off more than 50% in price in the last day because... People have been completing the objectives, and what happens? They start selling the card, they get rid of it, and when you complete the objective, you don't have to buy that player anymore, right? This card becomes basically irrelevant to you once you complete the 95 Enzo Fernandez, and his price yesterday starting off at 900k, slowly rising into the night, all the way going up to 1.1 mil, and then he dropped off from 1.1 mil down to literally 500,000 coins, less than 500k this Enzo Fernandez went to, and that's what you're seeing on a lot of these cards as well. So... These cards are amazing for the quick flips, guys. Amazing. Renato was 7 mil on Friday. Now he's 9.9. .9. Timo Werner yesterday we saw was 900k to 1.2 mil. And right now he's 655k. And I'm thinking, okay, Timo Werner is one of those more rare and expensive cards that has gone from 900k all the way down to 655. 
I'm tempted to try and go out and pick up one or two of those and see if I can trade with that today. Alfonso Davies has been like 1.7 mil all day for the day yesterday. 1.4, he went to 1.8, and then you know was between 1.5 to 1.6 for most of the day. He's down in the low 1.4s. These cards are going to be great to trade with. You just have to time it right, and you have to be careful with it. And the probably least risky place to be would be on guys like Vlahovic, guys like Fakir, guys like Cavani. Cavani specifically, I think a lot of people were doing that one because his card is a premium for the objective card that you get. And uh, like his price moved pretty well yesterday. I would imagine his price would move pretty well today as well. So that's why I wanted to bring up these cards and uh, because they're going to be really amazing to flip during the week. You just have to be careful about how long you're holding them and not hold them too long because if you think about it, these card prices are probably going to drop as we head towards the end of the week, because more and more people will be completing the objectives, getting the upgraded card done, and they will have little to no use for this version, right? But also at the end of the week, we're gonna have to watch this as we kind of progress, because at the same time as a lot of people are getting these done, these cards are about to go out to packs right on Friday, but the objectives will still be there. So that's going to be a very interesting scenario if Timo Werner drops down to like 300k and then it's like, okay, Timo Werner is 300,000 coins on the market. He's out of packs now and maybe you can combine it with some other level up objective from next week, right? Timo Werner is, I don't know if you have to use Bundesliga or German players in here. Um, maybe some of the objectives will overlap next week. So maybe if you want to try to hedge your bets that way you might find cheaper prices for some of these guys later on in the week and you also might be able to combine it up it's six german players and you're starting 11 right maybe next week there's another german bundesliga player like uh, i don't know i'm just shouting out a name marco royce let's say there's a marco royce level up card and you can combine burner and marco royce with six german players in your team and those two guys in your 25 separate matches for both of them and boom your time becomes a lot more valuable because you're getting two cards done at once not saying that's going to happen i'm saying there's potential for it so these cards are probably going to drop off um some more like later today kind of like we saw with these graphs i would imagine it's going to look somewhat similar today the drops should not be as drastic, but a guy like Cavani, he might end up being like 60,000 coins today because more and more people are going out, getting the five games done or whatever it is to get him, and then selling the card off. So risky with these cards to trade with, but the movements have been very consistent and there's going to be consistent demand all week. It's not just about today on Sunday trading with these cards. If you are really just trying to Hey, maybe even you're learning trading a little bit right now and you haven't traded a bunch in FIFAs before and you're like, Nate, I want to dip my toes in the water a bit. I want to learn the market, supply and demand, these quick flips that you talk about all the time. This is a great time and opportunity to do that in the summer when the coins technically mean less, right? Because coins mean less now than they do in November when you're just starting the game and you know everything is like grind, grind, grind and crazy important, right? So it's a great time to do that because if you mess up, it hurts less. And if you lose some coins, like I bought Enzo's because I thought it was too low, right? Um, and so I'm losing some coins there. But I also bought some Enzo's, like I said, at 450 to 460. And he's up like 80,000 coins. So we'll take that there. I'm selling a few of these guys right now, trying to take some cash. But then also think that he might go up a little bit more today and Sunday. So that's what I want to spend some time talking about today was these cards because they are going to be in very heavy demand this week. Even though some people are going to be getting the objectives done, a lot of people are probably still playing playing weekend league this weekend, getting their games done through that. And then during this next week, they're going to focus a bit more on working with these cards. So those are going to be very interesting cards to trade with and to watch out for because they're going to fluctuate like crazy on this game. Let's talk about Sunday today. Are we getting another level up player? That's my question because we actually have a leak. Teji Savernier is coming as a level up player soon. Stats are predicted. Now, this is what I was wondering in yesterday's video. I was like, guys, if they're going to add any more players to this promo via SBC, via objective, they're obviously going to have to add them to like the, the level up milestone, the level up your game one, you would think. So we'd have less time to do Sav uh, Savernier because he has not been dropped from day one. But if that's the case, we might have a Savernier in SBC today that you could go and do. And then maybe you could come inside this objective and uh, work on his objective level up as well. That's my question. Kind of like the Raheem Sterling, right? You do the SBC, you get the card, and then you can do the objective. So maybe that's a part of today's content. And since he is French, uh, maybe you could somehow combine Sildilia and Savernier 
and uh, Fakir. Fakir has got French players required as well for him, uh, and he is really easy to do. He's only 10 through balls in one game, so you get 10 through balls and you're done. So maybe that's one of the things you do is, I, one thing I'm going to do is probably wait till a little bit later on this week, not super late, but to start grinding some of these other cards that I've packed, like I got Corona, um, but if I get a Fakir, if I want to do Sovereigners SBC, and maybe I would end up doing uh, the Sildilia as well, maybe if another Serie A player SBC drops, maybe I'm going to do Jalano Glue and kind of link that up and try to combine some of these objectives a bit later on. It's a bit risky to try to bank on that and expect that to happen because it probably won't but i'm curious to see how ea do that today because i think that savonier would be dropping today um i don't think there's a mini release ea said nothing about a mini release and it would be kind of tough to do that there's already a, a pretty large number of players in packs right now we have a full team for sure so i guess there's potential for a mini release today but i don't think that was mentioned on ea's website unless i missed it another thing that could be dropping today we saw this actually last sunday was another upgrade pack remember the 86 plus player pick guys there could be something like that drop today as well um and for that matter if you want to get ready and get prepared I would say take a look at 83s and 84s. 84s are 2,500 coins. That is very cheap. And if there is some sort of player pick like an 86 plus or some sort of upgrade pack, 2,500 coins for all these is a fantastic price. If they were to require 84s, that could go up. 83s could go up. You know, that sort of thing could be moving today if we get some sort of upgrade packs. It's the end game, right? EA has been dropping more upgrade packs than normal. 85.7 and the 86 plus player pick last week the week before that we had the 84 times 10 so i believe we'll get something today ea just won't leave us with nothing i would at least hope but um that's kind of what i'm expecting for content today on this game as well so keep grinding the weekend league keep grinding these level up cards if that's what you're doing right now in this game and hopefully we get some decent content today in player species and maybe an upgrade pack as well. If it, it feels fun, right? The chase of trying to pack a level up player. Like I would want to do some upgrade packs this week because if you were to hit a Werner or a Davies, then it's like, okay, instead of me having to go pay 1.4 million coins to this card off the market to get it done, now that I've packed him, I feel like I have a duty to go and upgrade to the better version since it's available, right? And that's a very smart tactic by EA as well, because if you feel if you pack the card, then it's like, wow, I got to go get the upgrade for it since there's a better one available. So very smart from EA, but also like it gives you something to grind during the week. So I don't know, this promo still very interesting and kind of crazy for this stage of the game for like what you have to do. But also on the other end, this concept is a W. So hopefully EA implement this in EAFC 24. But again, I appreciate all of your guys' comments yesterday's video. I scrolled through a bunch of them and read them and uh, hearted a, bu a bunch of them because they really, really make sense. And I really feel where you guys are at right now on this game. But hopefully today's content is a W. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. But if you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Account. See you guys there. Peace.